Christmas Eve, 1963, Bator Mat, West Bengal, India. Dubbin is thinking so much about his kitty on their first separated Christmas. Not that this could possibly be less like Christmas here. I am to read the Sermon on the Mount out aloud in the temple this evening, but that's just camp. The weather is perfect, not too hot, and the new guest house where I'm staying is a whole lot more comfortable than the guest house uh, uh, than the one you and I stayed in. Swami Nikilananda of New York is here with four Western devotees who are like characters of E.M. Forster's. One of them is an Italian countess dressed as a Hindu nun. Another, a wealthy American inventor. I don't know whose character I am. I feel absolutely not here. No alcohol, not even any more Librium, has left me with a vast appetite. Swami is marvelous. He is absolutely himself, and yet he fits in perfectly and blesses the faithful in droves. I take the dust of every Swami's feet, and all manner of people take the dust of mine, and I'm not even embarrassed. It is all a charade. And yet India is teeming all around us, and Calcutta is as filthy as ever. And that matters. It is horrific. And yet not altogether depressing, because much is being done about it. Prema says he will stay here and join in the work. Arup is literally sick with horror and will leave as soon as he can. I think of nothing but January 7, when I fly to Rome, followed by New York a couple of days later. Meanwhile, I shall faithfully yak about Vivekananda as contracted to the Parliament of Religions, the Women's College, the Vivekananda High School, and so forth and so forth. In a daze, I observe how beautiful and curious and comic the life is here. I sit watching the boats on the Ganges. I read Willa Cather. But this is not my life and could never become my life. The only realities here for me are Swami, Prema, Arup and Krishna, whom I have become much more intimate with since our day together in Tokyo, where he bought Jap cameras, giggling like a schoolboy. I know this letter isn't making sense, because this place isn't making sense though it will probably make a good story in retrospect. I am not at all miserable or sick, only bored and lonely. I long to see you, my darling treasured kitty. Away from you, I can't talk. I don't feel this is my language or my world. I want to talk cat-horse again. Don't forget old days, dumb, doddering Dobbin. We'll send a cable in due course. Oh, my love, sweetheart, from the deep.